In this video, I'm gonna share with you the two major mistakes I see in manifestation practice. And you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this because there are many popular new age spiritual manifestation teachers that actually teach this incorrectly. And if you resonate with either of these mistakes, I'm gonna show you how to move through it and create reality at a quicker, more efficient rate and way. The first mistake is to believe that your desire is coming. And you may be wondering, why is that a mistake? Shouldn't I believe that my desire is coming? Yes, however, that's a very elementary level of manifestation. The, the very first premise of manifesting and co-creating your desires is to believe that it's possible for you. And then the second step would be to believe that it's coming and then to feel the feelings of what it would be like for it to be here. You're embodying the feelings, you draw it into your experience. However, so many people, and I used to get stuck in this myself, get stuck in the phase of it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Telling yourself, well, it's coming in the future, it's coming in a week, it's coming in a month, it's coming in the year, it's coming at some time. And the reason that this is such a block in manifestation is because your frequency, what vibration and belief you're sending out into the universe, the universe is just reflecting that back to you. It's like a mirror. And a reason that teachers, and especially very well-known teachers, I believe, say like, well, hold the vision that it's coming and um, like believe that it's coming, like have that knowing. I believe that is taught because it's easier to let go of your resistance to when it's coming, when you just know, like growth and evolution over a lifetime, like eventually my desire will land. And that is an ultimate truth. However, you wanna be very careful in your energy because if you only feel the feelings of it's coming in the future, but you never play in the energy and stabilize in the energy of, actually, I am the woman, the man, the person who is preparing for that experience now, who is living that experience now, then it won't be able to flow in, right? It won't be able to flow in because you're still sending out that frequency of, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming in the future. And this is why sometimes you may set a goal to hit a certain number or achievement at the end of a month and you get to the end of the month and you're like, where is it? But you're still dwelling in that vibration of it's coming in the future, it's coming in the future. So what you wanna do here to fix this is to, you can ignore the, the lawnmower in the background if you can hear it, it's spring, everyone's mowing their lawns, it's great. Um, what you want to do to fix this is to play in the energy of it's here. It's already here. That is a completely different frequency than it's coming, right? Think about something that you do have now. Something that you do have now that you've wanted. Maybe it's your health, maybe it's uh, your business, maybe it's a client, maybe it's a certain amount of money, maybe it's um, a, a top. Maybe it's a, a love interest, a lover, a partner, a friend. Well, when you tune into that thing that you already have that you want, do you feel the energy and the thoughts of it's coming, like they're coming, what I want is coming? You don't, right? Because it's here. That would make no sense. You are the energetic match to it being here and you are either appreciating it or you're taking it for granted. One of the two is likely happening, right? So what you wanna start doing with your, your desires and your goals, if you wanna expedite your manifestation practice and really live and experience the joy of it being here today, which makes you a vibrational match, is to play in that energy, to embody that energy of it's here, now. And then you wake up or you get up from your, your practice, your tool, whatever guided you into that feeling and you live as that person now. You prepare because it's, it's, it's here and it's very much on its way to you. And 
you just want to feel the difference in your body between it's coming in a distant future or like it's coming like very soon like I can feel it already here so I'm preparing now or I'm enjoying my day because it's here it's believing more in the inner world than the outer world right manifestation 101 principles and this tweak will really support your practice and then the second mistake that I see people make a lot is believing that I need to do a certain practice a certain tool in order to get what I want so this is this will show up and manifest as like oh my god I need to do my morning routine if I don't do my morning routine my desire won't manifest I need to do the journaling, I need to do the visualization, I need to do the affirmations, I need to do what I read in the book and what I saw on Instagram and what I saw on TikTok and what worked well for her and for him and for this and for that. And it's like, whoa, that is so overwhelming and it's so unnecessary. Like the, the best, most masterful reality creators don't even need a routine because they tune into the frequency of this is what I'm intending and I'm, I'm attuning to that in my body right now and now I'm living as that person. And as I'm living as that person that has that desire now, would it actually make sense for me to tell myself I need to repeat these affirmations 10 times a day? Like I am wealthy or I am love or I am happy or I am confident. Or would that actually be a counter intention telling myself and my energy field in the universe that what I, what I want is actually not here and I need to do something else in order to become a vibrational match. So don't get stuck in thinking like you need to do more in order to achieve and receive. The universe is like the most infinitely intelligent, powerful thing there is. Like, think about when you plant a seed. When you plant a seed into a garden, what do you do? And, and if you don't plant, like I, I don't, I've only really planted things like once as an adult. <laughs> but when you do garden, if you can imagine gardening, would you be out there like planting the seed and just staring at the, the soil and saying, okay, like why, why isn't it working? Why, why isn't it growing? Is it growing? Is it working? Did I do it right? And then the next morning you go and you dig it out and you're like, nope, I need to plant another seed. And then later that afternoon, you're like, nope, I need to plant another seed. I need to plant another seed. That is what happens when you set an intention and you feel the feelings of it and you begin to tell yourself, well, I still need to do all these things in order to make it happen. I need to do my routine every day. I need to, um, do what, what the other people are doing that are successful in this practice. I need to um, do anything, right? You're, you're telling yourself that you're not yet a match and you're essentially creating a, a list of things you need to do in order to become a match again. And the universe is like, oh, well, you already planted the seed, but if you really wanna rip it up and tell us that it's not planted, like you're not a vibrational match and you need to do the affirmations, the meditations, the visualizations and all the things again, then okay, fine, do it. And then you plant the seed and then it happens again and again and again. So how you fix this is you first understand like how freaking simple and magical and powerful the universe is. Like it wants to come in and grow the seed for you. And then you just get to harvest the beauty, the, the beauty of the flowers or, or the fruits and the vegetables that grow, right? This harvest of love and health and wealth and freedom and bliss in your life. But, but the, it's the universe's job to do the how and the why and the when and the where and to, to do the growing. So when you understand the simplicity of this and how it's really just your job to set the intention, to feel the feelings of it being here and then to live as that person, let inspired action flow from an energy of I have it rather than flowing from an energy of, oh no, I think it's not working. I think I'm not a vibrational match. What do I do, right? Do you feel the difference there? 
So you understand the, the simplicity and the abundance and the magic of the universe, and then you also shift your motivational driving force of why you take any action, right? Because what I'm saying here is not throw away all of your routines, don't ever do a spiritual or manifestation practice again. No. However, the ones that you don't enjoy, you don't need to do them. And let the motivational driving force behind it be not to get something, not to make something happen because you've already planted the seed. And instead, to enjoy the feelings of it being here today, right? Like this is the only time I go to a practice is, is because I want to enjoy the feelings of it being here today even more. It's like I don't feel it as much. So I just wanna feel it more. Like I wanna amplify it in my body. Oh yeah, okay, I'm feeling it more. I'm feeling more embodied in my, my chosen reality. And now I'm just enjoying it. Like I'm just doing it to enjoy it because that's when you're a vibrational match, right? Like you're enjoying your life and your day and you're letting yourself be guided to living that new reality, which should feel good and amazing and incredible because you chose it. And because you're doing that, you're a vibrational match. But again, the intention isn't to get, it's to enjoy the feeling of it being here because that's why you're creating that reality anyway. And it's just like a, a natural, beautiful side effect that that collapses time and draws your, your desire to you at lightning speed. So these two shifts are huge, 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 huge. Please let me know in the comments if they are supportive for you. And if you feel the call to mastering manifestation in your life, and enjoying and experiencing your dream reality in under four weeks, then I have a program that is beginning May 10th called Quantum Intelligence. It is a group coaching program. I only run this once a year and this may be the last year that I run it live and it will be, it will be like recorded in the future. And it is, What's so beautiful about quantum intelligence is I don't know any other program like it. I don't teach another program like it and I don't know anyone else teaching a program like it because instead of me teaching you each class, we meet twice a week for eight for four weeks, so eight times. Instead of me just teaching you, what you do every time you come to class is you anchor into the energy of your chosen reality even deeper, into yourselves, into your DNA, into your mind, into your body. And each class you come to, it's not in order to get something because in the first class you are already becoming the vibrational match. We set the intention, we plant the seed. And every time you come to class after that, it's just to amplify and deepen and experience more and more joy for experiencing that reality today. It's to experience and rest in relief that your chosen reality is here to rest in fulfillment. So it's a very um, active class where you'll be doing some of my absolute favorite magical parallel realities and manifestation and energy shifting tools where you can literally, well you, well you will learn how to essentially shape shift into the version of yourself that already has that reality and then you show up from that place. So in this program, within three days, you start noticing synchronicities to the reality that you're creating. And within four weeks, you're experiencing an entirely new reality. So this is really for the person who's ready to experience a shift. You don't wanna just learn about it. You don't wanna just slowly move there. You're like, I'm ready to make this happen. I'm ready to experience the shift in my life that I've been looking for. And I'm ready to enjoy the rest of 2022 and beyond with this new chosen reality. And what's so incredible about this program is you can apply it to anything. So you can apply it to relationships, health, money, self-love, peace, all of the, the different areas of your life. 
So when you join this program, we're gonna focus on just one or two to really focus and make a shift. However, you have lifetime access to the content. So you can go back through the eight weeks and like experience shifting into that version of yourself. It's fucking phenomenal. I'm so excited for it. Again, we begin May 10th. The doors will close. So if you feel the call to join me inside, you can go to www.aliciamcneil.com forward slash quantum or click the link in my bio to find it. If you feel the call, I'm so excited to have you inside. We have a variety of payment options. I want to make this as accessible to everyone. So we have multiple, multiple month payment plans, a one-time payment, and a VIP option if you want to add on some one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and receive a special energy anchor gift. So there is that. Thank you for joining me. I love you, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Mwah.